now let's assume that another business has approached us and asked if they should shut down or continue to operate. Now they've given us their total revenue. They've given us their total cost. And they've given us their total fixed cost. So we know how from the previous examples, we kind of know how to set up this problem. So it'll be real quick and easy. TR equals 4,000. Total cost equals 5,000. And total fixed cost equals 3,000. Now looking back on the previous examples, we know how to set this problem up. And it would be total cost, which is 5,000. equals our total fixed cost plus our total variable cost, which again we don't know and we'll have to do some simple math and figure it out. So what we're going to do is subtract 3,000 from both sides. Which gives us our total variable cost of two thousand dollars. Now we know that their total revenue is four thousand and we know their total variable cost is two thousand. So 4,000 is greater than 2,000. Now we will tell this business to, to continue to operate even though their total cost is greater than their total revenue as such. So then they'll ask us, well, what's their total profits, right? Well, we know that to get our profits, we have to would be total revenue minus our total cost. And then that will give us that business total profits, which in this case, 4,000 minus 5,000 is going to be a negative 1,000. Now, we're going to tell the business, well, you should stay in business, but right now you're going to lose out uh, $1,000 just by being able to operate. So your profit is going to be a negative 1000 But let's assume, let's assume that they don't really take our advice. And they continue uh, and they decide to shut down. So if they are going to shut down... So instead, they're going to shut down, or they decide to shut down. Uh, they're still locked into uh, the debt that they've kind of occurred to begin business regardless. And now we're going to take a look at this third example. Assume that another business approaches us and asks us what they will do or what they should do. Should they shut down or they should continue up? All right, this is take three. Now we're going to take a look at example number three. Assume that another business approaches us and asks us if they should stay or should they shut down. Now they've given us some numbers here. They've given us their total revenue, which is 4,000. So TR, total revenue equals 4,000. They've given us a total cost of 5000 And then they've given us a total fixed cost of 3000 Now, first we've got to find our total variable cost because we know total cost is equal to total fixed cost 
plus our total variable cost. So we need to find our total variable cost. And what we'll do is we'll have TC, or total cost, is 5,000 equals our total fixed cost of 3,000 plus our total variable cost. And now we'll do some uh, simple arithmetic. So subtract 3,000 and subtract 3,000. And we have a total variable cost of 2,000. Now we know from the short run rule, or um, the shutdown rule, excuse me, that uh, we have to have our total revenue greater than our total variable cost in order to stay in business in the short run. So we know that our total revenue is 4000 And we know our total variable cost is 2000 So from looking at this, we know that 4000 is greater than 2000 So our total revenue is greater than our total variable cost. So we'll tell this business, yes, they'll be able to stay in business and operate in the short term or short run. Now, let's say they want to know what their profits are. So we, you know, we take the equation profits equal total revenue minus total cost. So once again, we, we do a little bit of uh, inputting some numbers. So we know that total revenue is 4000 And we know our total cost is 5000 So if we take 4,000 minus 5,000, that'll give us a negative $1,000. Now, so we tell this business that yes, they're able to stay in business, but at the same time for the short run model of it, they're going to lose out and pay potentially $1,000. Now let's say the business uh, doesn't take our, or doesn't heed our advice, right? And they see that, that loss as a, uh, as a kind of a hint for them to shut down and they don't take our advice so they plan on so they plan on shutting down now if they're going to shut down they don't have to pay their total variable cost because that's the cost that they use to produce their service or product but they are still locked in with their total fixed cost. Because let's assume like they take a loan out for a bank or, or a, uh, some type of supplier and they're stuck in a contract with them. So regardless if they're in business or not, they are still paying that total fixed cost. Now we know our total fixed cost for this business is $3,000. So if they decide to shut down, their total cost will, to them will be $3,000 versus staying and losing uh, $1,000. So if they were to shut down, they would have a greater loss than if they were to stay in business.